Hey there, Flosstube. How are you? My name's Michael. This is terrifying, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just been overthinking this for years, and I just got to a point where I'm just going to film. I'm just going to jump in. Um, I'll just plan and plan and plan or write a script, and it'll never happen. So, my name's Michael. I live in Dallas. Um, I found floss tube a few years ago. I've been stitching since I was about six years old. Um, sewing and crocheting and stitching since I was about six, probably sooner than that, but I have record of a finish from that time. Um, I don't know if it's going to show, um, let me see. Okay. I stitched this at grandma's. It says age seven. But I could see where I penciled in a six. Um, so 1976, do the math. <laughs> um, that's how old I am. Um, anyway, I would go to grandma's house and stitch and sew with her and bake cookies and cakes and just learned, it, learned everything from grandma. And I really miss her. And, you know, I think about the bonds and the relationships we form with Neil and Fred. Just, we have a relationship with the fabric in our hand. They, you know, it becomes our friend, but we also make friendships around the world now. Um, I've already lost where I was. So I'm not sure where to begin. I think I'm just gonna jump in because I'll overthink. And if I plan, or write a script, I'll be at it for several more years. I, I get that paralysis where I overthink, so I'm just gonna jump in. I, I wanna show you, also, I just got my first pair of bifocals and I can't see very, oh, there you are. So I'm adjusting, I might have to put on my readers. I've got them set aside. Um, let me show you what I picked up from the framers recently this past weekend. Um, I kind of stitch a lot of different things, like whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, there goes Molly. Um, okay, let me just start here. This, and you know what? I'm two minutes and 40, 40 seconds in and my face is itching. Oh, okay. So I hope this show them. So this is from Country Cottage Needleworks. Bless our house, but... Um, I stitched this for my son. I just picked this up. Actually, I stitched it a few years ago. This house, I think in the original chart is blue. Um, but they have a, a cute yellow house in Florida. And I stitched Randall, their, their little kitty. I hope this is showing. I really can't see if it is or not because I'm so blind. Okay, so, and the, the sad, sad, funny story is I had stitched this and their house caught on fire and burned. It didn't burn down, but it they were kind of homeless for a while. <laughs> um, anyway, and so I told my son Jonah, I said, be sure and paint your house yellow again because <laughs> I have a yellow house for you. Um, so I've got to give this to him. But um, anyway, I just got this back. I don't think they'll be watching this, so we're good. It'll still be a surprise. So, and um, this, my stepson sent me a picture and asked me to stitch this for him. You know, I really hope that these words show up correctly when, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, if it doesn't, it says, may Godzilla destroy this home last. Anyway, he sent this to me, asked me to stitch it, and um, I couldn't say no. And I have to tell you, I did not enjoy this. It's very pixelated. It was um, confetti. Yeah, this is where I decided I don't like confetti. Confetti stitching. I wonder if I could see better if I... Oh, there, I think I got it. I got this from... Amplified from Etsy. Amplified, A-M-P-Y-F-I-E-D. 
Anyway, it's super cute. I hope that shows up. Um, this one I just got too. I just love this. I love Jane Austen. I love, um, I want to fill up the house with Jane Austen cross stitches, but I just got this one back too. You know what? Maybe I can see better if I do this. That's a little better. Oh, oh there, I got it. So she tried to be calm and leave things to take their course, which isn't easy for me. <laughs> That's why I wanted to, the reminder. Plus it was just really sweet. I um, stained or dyed this fabric myself. I'm sure it was just um, a scrap. And I probably used coffee, tea, and I think I might've used Coke Zero. Um, you know, I wonder about that. Maybe the acid from those things are going to make our fibers fall apart. I don't know. But anyway, it's cute for now. And, um, I got it from this magazine, uh, just cross stitch. I know it was January, February, 2009. If you want to try to find it on eBay or something. Um... Now, this is going to hurt. I do not know how to pronounce this. But, um, let me see. I wrote myself a note. It's, you say, it's Hebrew. And that was horrible, and I apologize. Um, but what it means is, basically, it's going to be okay. And so, the funny story about this stitch. So I started this like probably March 17th of last year. So 2022. And I was not in a very good mood. I was <laughs> going through something hard and I love this. Okay. Also, I work for an Israeli company. And so I hear these words every day and um, I just love the idea of it. Um, um, it will be okay. So I started stitching this and I'm just stitching and I stitch and stitch and stitch and I just kept telling myself it will be okay. It will be okay. So I got in. I always start in the upper right corner and I did not like the coverage and I was really upset. I think this is probably 36. Um, I want to say it's be stitched me. 36 count. And I was using one thread and I didn't like the coverage and I I just kept thinking, no, I'm, I'm going to go on. It'll be okay. And I kept stitching and I didn't like it, but I was just determined. There's, and um, I was just determined to not start over. And I just kept telling myself it'll be okay. Ah! And, and I ended up liking it. I pushed through it and I feel like the coverage is okay. Like when you look at it. Oh, this is hard, you guys. Well, anyway, the coverage is fine. It's pretty. Oh, and let me tell you where I got this uh, bird, bird, birdhouse Etsy. Um, B U R D house, birdhouse. So I, um, that's what I just picked up this past weekend, and um, I'll show you. I know I have. Uh, oh, I have some other finishes. Um, let me tell you a story real quick. I have to get a sip of water. Hold on. I love Sonic Ice, so I got my Sonic Ice water. Um, let me just, let's see, what do I have here? Okay, I want, I'm gonna tell you a story. It's kind of sweet, but I love words of praise. They're just easy. They're, they're, they're um, kind of, I wouldn't say mindless, but they're just easy, you know, for, they're just not hard. And the only thing is just, um, they're dated, you know, which is okay. So am I. Um, and what I did was I just pulled, I, okay. So the fabric I know probably came with the kit and it felt like old weeks, which I am a big old weeks fan. I love old weeks. I think I'm the only person. Um, and so what I, I, the kit, you know, it was, um, just the old floss 
DMC. And I, they want you to blend. I didn't really like that. So what I did was I just pulled out, I did a floss toss and I just played. I, I know that this house is, I think a cinnamon, it might be weeks and the grass, I it might be old time. But anyway, it's, it, it, it's really easy to just play with floss and it doesn't look terribly dated. I, I, anyway, it, I'm happy with it if it does. So, um, this is, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Psalm 34, three. Anyway, so I'm, and oh, and I put, I put my mom here and then I put all the girls in our family, like immediate family. Um, you know, my daughter, my daughter-in-law, um, nieces, sisters, and I, um, so I, I, I put the last stitch in on Christmas Eve and the family wants to have Christmas. This was a couple years ago. And I'm like, just a minute, one more stitch. I'm almost there. So I'm like racing and I was so proud. I finished and um, I brought it out and I hung, I was holding it and um, I was so excited. It was just thrilled. And um, you know, I'm showing all the girls in the family. Oh look, there, there's you, there's you. There you are, there you are. Well, my, I think it was five at the time, my five-year-old grandson, Silas, came up to me and he said, well, where am I? I, that like to nearly broke my heart. I, so, um, I, I, you wouldn't think if it would matter to a five-year-old boy that he's not in a cross stitch. Um, anyway, um, so I decided he gets his own. Um, Um, so this, this is a mystery fiber, but I think that I might have darkened it, which I, I don't know that I, okay, I'm not unhappy with it. I think it's pretty, but the colors, um, didn't, sh don't pop really well. And I think this one, what is the name of that? Okay. So this one, I mean, I doubled up on that. I think it. I think I did four stitches because it just, but anyway, I love this so much. And it, you know how when you're stitching a sample or stitching something and you, you love it so much, you would stitch it again. I mean, I never say that. I don't, there's not a whole, I mean, I might love that, but I'm never going to stitch that again. While I was stitching this, I was like, oh, I love this. I can stitch it again. Well, um, Also, down at Tinsmith's wife, she stitched this on seaweed. And <clears throat> I think I could do it again on seaweed. Uh, but I just love this. It flowed. It, was, it wasn't It was hard. And it's just real pretty. Anyway, so Silas got his own sampler. Everybody will eventually probably get their own sampler. But I just wanted to tell that sweet story about a little boy. Wanted to know where he was. Um, this is the uh, though he seemeth sleeping from Lucy Beam. I I know every a lot of people have done it, but if you want to stitch this, you haven't done it yet. I highly suggest seaweed. Is it fox and rabbit? Um. Anyway, I just love it. I I took some pictures of it, but the it, it's covered with glass, so the glare's real bad. I might poke po post it on Instagram, but oh man, seaweed, yeah. If I had to do it all over again, which I might. Um, okay, that's that's it for now. I do have some finishes here. Let me just, um, Becca, Sambri stitches. So, okay, this, my mother just moved. Um, to independent living. So we were going through her stuff and you know, I'm cleaning out the China cabinet and she said, oh, just get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. And it was a China cabinet full of linen. And I'm like, mm, I'm not getting rid of that. I wanted to see what would happen or how it would stitch up and it's uneven, but it was wonderful. This is, um, I think it's probably a placemat. 
my parents got married in 67. So, um, anyway, here's Ger Gertrude. How do I say that? Gertrude. Good Gertrude. Yeah. Um, anyway, I love red work. I'll do more. And there's, there's more here. So, and I've got more. I've, um, I'm going to do more, but I love the way this stitched. It went real fast. And I just want to thank Sam Bree for giving us some red work. You know, just um, some sometimes we want magnificent and sometimes we just want simple and fast. So if you're thrifting or going through um, grandma's china cabinet, don't toss the linen. Play with it. Um, it was uneven, but it worked out. It, 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 it was fine. And um, I, I've done this one. Oh, let's see. What was this floss? Well, that's weird. Okay, Turkish red. And, okay, so that was the Hebrew font. Um, it's so funny. So I really, where is this? Lena. I think she was, is that your grandmother? Anyway, so I was thinking I wanted, okay, my name's Michael. Did I tell you that? Or Michal. Um, I, I'm so nervous. I don't know where I am. I don't know how to do this. So I was thinking, I want to get, put my name here, my Hebrew name here. And I got someone at work to write it out for me, but I don't know how to chart that. And it got complicated. So maybe Becca can help me or I can just not be lazy and figure it out myself. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, um, oops, what Turkish red looks like on mama's linens. And I've got more, so I'm I'm really I'm gonna do more. I, I think it would be cool to just do a, a red work wall with them, mama and daddy. Um, let's see what else is in here. I think that's all I wanted to show you out of that. But oh here, it's just a piece of blue. Um this is a napkin, a linen napkin, but I thought a Greek alphabet would look good on that. Or just whatever I felt like doing, but wouldn't that be pretty white and blue on there? Um all right, that's that bad. This is very, I don't want to say it's stressful, but it's not a calm experience. So I'm sure I'll have to, and there won't be any editing. I'm not doing that. So whatever gets said stays, whatever gets forgotten, you guys can tell me about. Um, let me, I'll show you this in just a second. Um, I've got a stack here. I'll try to be quick. I'm at 17 minutes. So the, the this is work um work work in progress, right? Um I want to show you well where'd the pattern go? Oh here it is. Um I was so excited to get this. I haven't even put it in a project bag, but I love this is funny. So I love this sampler oh hello here it is i love this sampler and i'll tell you why so um come on now come on all right it's free love hazard there we go um so i love the sampler i think it's interesting it's unique it's different but i'm telling you what i love about this sampler is her name free love hazard if your name is free love hazard you're going on my wall like you belong in our family i just that is just so i just i love her name free love hazard um 1792 you can get it from um scarlet letter anyway i would love to i wish i wish i could live long enough to do all of hers i that would be my lifelong dream is to just stitch scarlet letters anyway here's my progress um there look at that also you want to know something funny this is my first uh video and i thought I'm going to pick the darkest corner of the house to film this on. It's very dark in here. I don't know where else to go. So this is just going to have to work. I hope you can see, but, and then this, uh, this fabric is Weeks Dye Works linen, just linen. I love Weeks. Um, and I like this color linen. It, it has like, it's not pink, but 
like a rose glow. I, I mean, but it's not pink. It's not rosy. Uh, it just doesn't have a lot of yellow in it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I, I will use this fabric again. I'm really bad about cutting. I This is a small sampler and I need to cut about three quarters of a yard off. I'll get to that. I, I have linen cutting anxiety. <laughs> I like to go ahead and put in the block it so that I know where I'm gonna be. I just know the one time I get confident, that's the one I ruin. Um, I'm doing this in silks, it looks like. And I think this was 40 count. I love silk on um, 40 count. I love, I, I try, I'm trying to do a lot of um, larger count now because my wall space is limited and I would like smaller pieces, but I also feel like at some point I'm not gonna be able to do 40 or 46. So I'm gonna do it now. Um, okay, so this is a funny story too. I feel like, well, I like antique samplers, reproductions are inspired and I, I love primitive. I, I really think that's where my heart is. I, actually, I don't know where my heart is. I just, I like, I like what I like. Okay, if I, whatever I'm in the mood for that day. Um, so I think that this is funny because, um, let me get there. Sorry, my eyes itch. Oh, pardon me. Um, so I am not a real big, I thought, marabilia. So I, I think they're pretty, I think they're nice. And um, I think, yeah, that I like them, they're pretty, but I would never, that's just not me, that I would never stitch one. Well, and also too, I they're so big. And I'm like, I don't really have the, I don't want a big pretty woman on my wall. I like little humble. I don't know, I don't wanna say ugly, but you know, I, I like primitive. So it's just funny to me how your taste changes because you know, a year ago, I'm like, no, nah, I would never stitch a Mirabilia. And um, watching Stitching Faye, I, I just love her because you don't really ever know what you're gonna get. Like you show up for a floss tube and you're like, wow, I've never seen that before. Or, oh, that's so cute. I would have never stitched that. And look, that's adorable. I love it now. Um, so I know that this isn't, um, I mean, is Nora Mir Mirabilia the same? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I loved her. I, I love the wings. And um, I started her, I think on my, birthday week or whatever and um I just want to thank um Stitching Faye for helping me explore new things and anyway she's I'm gonna give it to my granddaughter I don't really think I'll put her on my wall I mean I could I might I might stitch more too there there's so there's so many that are pretty I really like the Shakespeare ones and um anyway I I just think it's funny how our tastes change and um I think I got that off eBay I don't know um I don't know where I got it but anyway I got the kit I got the th the floss and the um the beads we'll see where I end up I I mean I'm enjoying her and I'm I will finish it I'm 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 pretty good at finishing like I don't abandon things not that there's anything wrong with that I'm sure I've abandoned something I um what I'm trying to say is it will eventually get done. Um, this is one that I'm working on. Actually, I haven't worked on this in about a year or two. I need to finish this. This is um, Annie Hissop Harvest Moon. It is a primitive needle. I think this is tin roof. I love this chart because well it's so unique and the floss the color choices are so different and um you know like if i was charting something i'd be like well i would have never thought to use this i love this orange um i don't remember what it is but i don't really like orange very much i'm sorry um to the people who love orange but i love this bittersweet i think i want to stitch everything with bittersweet um, 
anyway it's coming along i don't lack much i got i guess i got all the busy stuff i've got to finish the border oops did i do that backwards see i can't see i've got two pairs of glasses and still can't see are you gonna focus nope come on friend and they've already passed the chart on to someone in the Northeast. I won't give you her name. <laughs> I don't, anyway, I I was happy to give it to her. Um, I feel like this community, we're very generous with each other. I mean, I'd give you a kidney if you needed it, or I'd at least go get tested. And um, I, think, I think she changed her name, um, Pugs and Stitches, Andrea from Dallas. She's a good friend. I mean, she would just give me anything. I love her. Um, go follow her on um, Instagram. I think she just changed her name. Pugs and Stitches. I think that's right. Um, let's see what else I have here. Um, I love Murky. Is it... Um, Michelle McGraw that loves Murky. I got I found a piece of 40 and I'm stitching this for my grandson. Um hillside samplings. I thought it would be cute on Murky. Make a Christmas. So it's 40 count, so it was smaller, and I thought it would be a cute Christmas ornament. You know, I love baseball. I go Rangers. Um, but now he's playing football, and I'm like, can't you play baseball for a little bit longer? you know nana's stitching you something um so that's progress on that um i'm trying to go fast man at 26 26 minutes so maybe you guys can help me with this i i have an issue i think i figured it out i'm gonna so i am stitching um and gardener and you know it's a it's a sweet cute pattern I like it. It's beautiful. It's not overcomplicated. The palette is pretty minimal. Um, you know, there's just not a lot of colors. It's almost like primary colors in a way. Um, red, blue, pink, yellow. Um, I'm going to have to work on this focus thing. I don't know how to do this yet. Thanks for your patience. Um... Okay, so the reason why I really, this appealed to me was it's 1723. And I'm like, well, it's 2023. Let's bring Ann Gardner back to life 300 years later. So, um, and I'm not, I haven't made much progress. And I, you know, I ought to buckle down and finish it this year. But, okay, so my issue is this, I'm doing this on 46 count. Um, just Bristol linen. Whoops, there we go. I haven't got very far and I'll tell you what happened. I I didn't want to jump around and it see it's very light. You well for Pete's peppers. Okay. So I started it and I don't like to hop around. I didn't want to save the satin stitch to the end. So I'm satin stitching and I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna work because the hoop will just squish it. So then you can see here, I'm like, okay, well, let's just continue on and keep going and we'll do satin stitch last. Well, whatever the hoop I put it in, it's gonna get smashed. So, and I also like to stitch in hand. I don't really see how satin stitch is going to, I don't know. Um, so I was thinking, okay, what I need to do um, is just get a large hoop. And I was going through stuff and I, this might work. I don't know. I'm going to try this out after after I film this. Um, I wish it showed up. It's very light, and I wish you could see. I think it's pretty. Um, it's just sweet. It's humble. It's not, it's not fancy or magnificent. I, but it's still gorgeous in a, in, it, it's still pretty. Um, so maybe if you have any ideas on how to not squish your satin stitch tell me what to do because i want to finish her i don't i don't want her to become a five-year-old whip um 
let's see. Okay, so in September, I, well, September's my birthday month, September 11th, and I love samplers. I think that's my great true love. Um, it was sampler September, and I kind of went crazy starting stuff because I, I can't remember. I don't know who to give credit to. Um, somebody, I think, too, I heard it from two different floss tubes. Somebody said, you know, if you've got it kitted up, just why are you waiting? So I, I kind of went crazy. I had a bunch of stuff kitted up. I'm not even going to show you everything I started because I want to be practical with my time here. But this has been so much fun. This, um, this is my working copy too because I am terrible. Does anybody else destroy their patterns? Okay, so Sarah Pod. Um, sampler's not forgotten. Um, let me show you how far I've got. Oh no, can you see? And I'm doing this on 40 count grandma slip. Extrude design, which I highly recommend. Every time I stitch with one of her fabrics, I think, oh, she's my favorite. And then you'll stitch with somebody else, like Fox and Rabbit. Oh, they're my favorite. Hogs, hogs bristle. You know, I, or, oh, I love weeks. Or it's just funny to me how, I don't know. It just, I guess it all brings me joy. But th I wish that I knew how to focus, but I wish you could see the coverage. It The, the stitches are so pretty dog on it. I wish you could see that. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's my first time stitching. Oh, see, I am a messy stitcher. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, this is my first time stitching with, um, Gloriana and oh my gosh, I love it. The, the fabric, the floss, the chart. I'm just, I'm loving everything about it. And I have not been able to put it down. And I think I've, um, finally put it down for, I'll show you what I, what I put it down for, but I have been, I've wor been working on this for two weeks. I sat there under the eclipse down in Ingram, Texas, stitching her and it's real pretty. And I don't really, I don't dislike yellow. I'm just not a warm color. That's not where I gravitate. So yellow is kind of different for me. And I just, I love it. I'm really enjoying it. I think Maybe that's kind of one of the exciting things about cross stitching, you know, is exploring things that you are like, mm, I don't know, I'm not really a yellow person. Well, am I? I think I am a yellow person. Um, I wish you could see it. Maybe I'll try to um, take pictures and post it on Instagram, which is so funny. I'm on Instagram many times a day and I never post. I follow all of you. I try to comment. Um, but the, oh, let me tell you the funny thing. If you stitch this, and it's not hard, but you have to pay attention, especially the bottom row. Um, I resent having to count and count and cross stitch. Like I just, I have to, I just want to fly. And then you have to be, you have to stop and I'm like, whoa, I've got to count here. Um, so I'm loving this. I I recommend it. You'll, it's a joy to stitch. Um, I'm really enjoying the silk too. Like I love stitching with DMC as well. I sometimes that you know something will come up or a birthday or and I'll get silk and and I think I'm really loving this, but also I would have been just as happy with DMC. Um in a yellow bag, isn't that cute? I don't know who made this. I Fiddle Feathers made by hand. Um, I, I know one thing that I want to do is take better notes. I'm terrible with post-its and I've tried to keep that book, book of days. I'm going to make a commit my, to myself to take better notes. Okay. So I put her, I put Sarah down for, and they send, oh, so my friend Andrea came over. She, she uh, brought this with her for show and tell. We were stitching, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have that kitted up. Why am I not starting? So, um, kind of makes you sad to put stuff down. I, I tend to be. I'm. I mean, I'm not monogamous, but I'm. I'm. Ha I'm happy when I'm monogamous. I mean, I could just plow through something till the end. So when I put something down, it almost kind of like you have to go through a little bit of green grieving. It's like. Goodbye, friend. I'll, you know, I'll see you in a few weeks. 
you know that's not going to happen. Lord willing, I will get back to her soon because I'm just having so much fun. But I started her last night. I started the And They Sin last night. And I'm loving it. Oh, this was fun. I was so tired last night. And uh, I just, I couldn't put it down. And I'm just like, one more stitch, one more stitch. Um, but I, I got some, I think it's, I'm doing it on 40 count flax. I got it from um, 10, 10 Smith's wife this past week. I mean, um, Andrea had it kitted up and I'm like, okay, I'll do it with you. But I didn't have the fabric and I got it and I'm, I'm ready to go. I think I'm gonna work on this again tonight. Um, I don't know where you can get the chart. I Googled it. I guess you can still get it. Is that true? Um, anyway, I really I'm gonna make a working copy because I will destroy this too. I am I am hard on him, which makes me sad. Is that like a character defect? I don't know. I. I'm not proud of the fact that I'm hard on stuff on my charts, but I mean, I take care of things. I've just, I guess I just get in a hurry and I get called to a meeting. So I'll shove the pattern in the bag or, you know, and it's tempting. You want to mark on it. And I just don't dare do that. Um, this one is okay. I, I think that it would bring me more joy if I wasn't thinking so hard. Um, but I'm working this. I'm doing this on hogs bristle. It's um, Hawk Run Hollow ugh. Farms. Farms of Hawk Run Hollow. So, okay, quick story. I live in Dallas, uh, Dallas, Texas. Um, but I'm from Ingram, Texas. And no one's from Ingram, Texas. Um, so what I'm doing is... I'm doing each block kind of from about my hometown. Like this one, it's TJ Moore's lumber yard and they started in 1892. I put the date there. Um, this one, okay, so there's an old grocery store that the, let's see the, let me just look at this. The Double Yoke Wednesday. There's an old grocery store that's been there for 75 years. I remember being a little girl and um, my mom had a charge account. I guess back then you'd call and order your groceries and they'd put it on a charge account. So we would go when we were little kids, take our wagon or whatever, go pick up groceries. I mean, back when you let your kids walk around town with a wagon. Um, and this one, I just made it my grandmother, uh, Grammy friends, because they were farmers and... Um, I wouldn't say ranchers. They were orchard people. Uh, they had apples, peaches, and pecans. Pecans were their big thing. Um, anyway, so, oh, and, and uh, this is hog bristle. I think it's 36 six count. I really, I really love this fabric. I, I, um, I haven't been able to find, find it lately, but I, um, I think I found it on Etsy. You know who I'm talking about. Starts with an H. I think she had some. Uh, but I would love more. And that one thing that I'm kind of kicking myself. I think I... So, okay. I start... See how what I do? I start stuff so tight. I should not have done that. And I want to get better about that. But I'm so scared. I, I kind of obsessive compulsive measure and remeasure and measure and remeasure and remeasure and I'm just so scared. I did that one time uh, with a long long dog. I, you know, you, halfway through the chart you realize, yeah, I'm short three inches. What were you thinking? So I think it ruined me. <laughs> so now I'm really scared. Okay, so the reason why I started so high up was this has a rip, a tear in it, probably. Um, so I was just afraid to run into that. But now that I've been stitching on this a while, I see I've got plenty of room. And I just feel bad for the framers. I asked my framer uh, last week, I said, you know, how much room do you need? And they're like, oh, no, that's okay. I, I don't know if they're lying to me. But, I mean, out of courtesy for them, I'm going to 
try to give more room, but I'm going to continue this. I, I, I feel like, you know, I, a lot of people adjust their charts or they'll exchange the floss and I, I get so overwhelmed because what I, what I end up doing is thinking too hard and, um, it just takes the joy out of it for me. So I tend to stick to the pattern and that's the color of the floss they said. Yeah, no, no, we're not making changes. And um, I'm not opposed to that. I, I love it when someone else does the changes for me, then I don't have to overthink and melt down. Um, this is my favorite hoop. I love these old wooden ones. Oh my goodness. I, I stitch in hand. I start in the right hand corner and I just whip stitch. I think they call that Victorian stitch but sometimes you need a hoop and I love this little wooden one because it's not too tight and it's not too loose it's just perfect I have one it was probably my grandma's um but sometimes you just I can stitch in hand but sometimes you just need you know taut maybe if you're doing one over one I don't know um let's see what else do I have here um not a whole lot of more exciting things um I do, I stitch so many big things and I, I always think I need to stitch smaller <laughs> and I'm not opposed. I love smalls and, um, I like to finish stuff quickly, but I don't know why I just, uh, don't burn through. Look, um, this is, I've just got the house. This is a pin, the pin keep. Um, here you go. Oops. I don't know who did this. Linda? Thrain? Oh. I I think I probably got it off of, um, not secondhand, but where you buy stuff. Stash? Stash Buster or something like that. Anyway, I've only got, let's see, what do I have left? I've just got the bottom of the house and, um, looks like the sidewalk. It's almost done. It's been real sweet. You can see there's a Diet Coke accident. I, I'm traumatized by liquids. I, it just scares me to death. And you, I could put a lid on it like a, a kid in a sippy cup and something is going to happen. That's why I have my water way over there. Because I know myself. I cannot be trusted with liquids and cross it. Um, here's a cute bag. I really, so I'm a quilter. I'll show you a little bit in a minute. But I really love project bags because when you're quilting, you miss cross stitch. And then when you're cross stitching, you miss quilting. And I, I like, I want, I want to see fabric. So I feel like project bags are a fun way to have both. Um, this is 805 stitcher. Um, all right, this I think is my oldest whip. Oh my goodness. So, you know, I'm not bragging. I mean, I don't make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I make mistakes. We all make mistakes, but in general, we, you know, I'll catch it pretty quick. Um, fix it, whatever, move on. Or, you know, what do they call it? Fudge or frog. But, um, so I don't know this pattern, this chart is not hard. It's not a challenge. And I have made so many mistakes in this. I ripped it out, restitched it, ripped it out, restitched it, ripped it back out again. And so I get mad at it a lot, but I love it. It's I and I'm using like a, I think that's a mushroom maybe evenly. Anyway, it's, it's cute. And, um, it is sampler beads, the city stitcher. I love their stuff. I have a lot of it anyway. It's not hard. It's it's just cross stitch. Pay attention. But um so we're friends. We love each other. We're in a co we're committed. But we have to take breaks. But this is my oldest whip. Maybe I can knock. You can see I started on the Am I, is it going to catch? Anyway, I started on the over one. It's not I like over I I like even we for over, over one. And I did like the little fancy stitches in the flowers. We'll get there. We'll make up. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to talk, talk bad about you in front of all these people. It, it's a beautiful chart. They've got a lot of pretty ones. Um, 
I'm gonna finish that. I'm I there's another gnome bag. Oh, 805 stitcher too. Um, let's see. Oh, I have a few other things. I'm trying to go fast because I'm at 45 minutes. Schnikes. Um let me let me just those are smalls. I'm gonna show you the big stuff because this is the first one and I wanna wrap this up soon. Okay, so where is it? Now y'all, I was born in 68. Well see how hard I am on patterns. Makes me sad. So I was born in 68, grew up in the 70s. I am having a wonderful time with this. Hobby Lobby. I think I have two Hobby Lobby books and one strawberry shortcake book. Um, but this is what I'm working on now. This one I decided to do her in blue. And okay, so this is funny too. Back to yellow. I, yellow's the theme. So for a while I was getting, um, was it Half Yard from X Jude um, in her club? I'm still going to probably rejoin again. I love her stuff. And um, so one month we got this yellow. Woo! I'm like, I don't know what I want to do with that. Um, it wasn't ugly. It's, it's just a lot of yellow. And I'm like, I, you know, I'm not big on yellow. So I just thought about it. I thought about it. I thought about it. And I thought, you know what? All these hobby, ho holly hobby would look really pretty on it. And you know what? I was right. It's turning out so cute. And can you see? Schnikes. Okay. Anyway, and I ran out of this shade of blue. I had to go back and get more. And it you can tell the dye lots are different. And I don't care. I'm going I'm going to continue. Um let's see, you can see where I worked all the way down to the bottom because I need to cut it off. But I was like, I'm not cutting that until I know where I'm gonna be. Oh, I thought I got more done on her than that. So I've I've got the dress. I got that front apron to do. Anyway, she's precious to me. I love her. I'm gonna I want to use all of this up and do all the holly hobbies on here and just um put her up in my little sewing room in here. But I don't know. I so okay 47 minutes. Let me tell you a story. Uh that's that's a long story. So I th I think it's funny, and I would love for you to share below how you found floss tube because to me it's a part of our story i feel at this point you know we we all you know we love stitching we love sewing and we love needle and thread but i don't know once you find floss tube your whole world kind of changes so um long story short and i i thought about not telling this story because i don't i don't want to be a name dropper but i kind of know carol uh i used to work with her in uh, jacksonville at old green cupboard um, salt box stitcher. Uh, she is a wonderful, lovely person, and who you see, that's who she is. Like she is, you know, just a. She's just a very genuine person. And okay, so years ago, I, I saw you know saw her on Floss Tube. I keep up with a lot of people from Old Green Cover and what they're doing now, like Susan Aki. Um, she's amazing. I'll tell you Susan Aki story later. Um, but Heather and her mom, Gloria and Aunt Vicky, they, Gloria, I, they own the store. Anyway, they're wonderful friends of mine. So anyway, I love Carol, but Carol was a cool, one of the, she sat at the cool kids table. She got to work in the back of the cool team. And I worked up front with the home decorating. And, uh, oh, and you know, I, I don't have it. I, my very first quilt, I took Carol's class. Um, it was an Atkinson pattern had star in it okay so I learned to bind cut quilt bind from Carol um anyway I just love Carol okay so Carol floss tube I was following her on floss tube but you know I I was really I'm a big time gardener I a organic garden and I'm really into permaculture in the city um I I was always watching gardening videos and I didn't really have a whole lot of times to sit and watch, pay attention to 
Carol, and I'm sorry for that. I, I, I hope that's not rude, but you know, I'm just working, I'm busy, I'm watching gardening videos. I gotta get these tomatoes started tonight, whatever. So COVID came and I was furloughed and I was like, well, I guess I'm going home. And uh, you know, you don't know what to do with yourself. So I went to the sewing area and my sewing room and I was quilting, I'm going through fabric, I'm getting rid of stuff. And I think finally I had time to sit and watch Carol. And I did not know, Carol, what is floss tube? What? My mind just exploded. And so there, you know, you go down that floss tube rabbit hole. I want to thank Carol because if I hadn't sat down and paid attention to her <laughs> videos, which she worked so hard on, and she's such a beautiful person, I would have never found floss tube. But anyway, it's just so interesting to me how what happens to your brain and your circle of life once you find floss tube. So I would love to hear how you found floss tube. Like how did you stumble across it or you know, how it's changed your life. I've made wonderful friends and um, and you know, you, you don't really realize how much you're gonna need that friend. Like, yes, we love each other, we're having a good time. Friendship is great. And then, you know, dark darkness can come into your world and you've got your fabric, your needle, your, th your thread and your floss and your friend. And um, I just don't even know what I, like who we would be if we didn't have floss tube now. But I, I think we're, our world needs it. And I just thank you all for just loving me and being my, unconditional friend and cheerleader and you know you you are all my best friends and you don't even know it i see you every day um okay so that's holly hobby oh and speaking of friendship i I'm, I'm at the bottom of the pile i really am i promise so um oh sh hold on let me let me get that i wanted to take okay this i i promise i'm at the bottom here um this I started this, Mary Bailey, with Christy, um, Prims, is it Christy at Prims, Prims, Christy, I, I can't, okay, so I started this with her August 2021, and promptly flaked, I, I got a new job, and I was like, immersed in training and my I was it was horrible it was wonderful it was a it was wonderful but I was just oh I couldn't keep up and so I didn't mean to flake on you Christy and if you want to get back to it I would love it I really love Mary Bailey um what you know what I love about this chart other than it's beautiful woo, uh you know it's 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 beautiful um but what I love about her it, okay so I feel like this girl she had chutzpah um, because, you know, okay, so I love history. I'm, I'm always reading history, watching his, history on YouTube. I, I mean, that's all I do is just watch history and I read historical fiction or I watch history videos. But, you know, it, it wasn't until recent times, like the last whatever, 200 years, 250 years where you could mention death and a king in the same sentence. And um, she, hold on just a second. I, I don't know where the, the poem is. Where did it go? I should have been more prepared. Okay, so can I read it from here? All right, Mary Bailey, Stitch the Sampler. Okay, the greatest king on, I cannot read this. Okay, so go look it up and you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, I just feel like she dared to go where no one else would go. I mean, I just, you don't find poems like that. Um, I am I'm highly annoyed that I did not have that poem ready. It says, the greatest king on earth and meanest slave. For worldly pomp are equal in the grave. Only the 
pious actions of the just. Hmm. The last day, last day shall blossom in the dust. I just think that's kind of powerful, like comparing a king and a slave like that. I, I don't know. I Okay, so back to Mary Bailey. So my last name is Bailey. And um, my husband's mother was Mary. So um, this is how far I got. I, I'm stitching this on. Well, son of a gun. That's about how it's going to go. I, I know it's, I bought the kit. Whatever came in the kit, probably 36 or 40. Come on, little fella. There you go. So I started it and I did all right. And I, I think that pink was annoying me. And then I got busy with training at work. I'm going to finish this. Okay, so my husband's uh, mother was Mary Bailey. And um, I got this chart. And I was really excited. I was like, look, honey, I found a chart with Mary Bailey. And he was like, okay, that's nice. But that's not her work. And I was like, honey, that's not the point. Anyway, it just cracks me up that he was like, he wasn't as excited as, as I was. That's not her work. Come on, you know, play with me a little here. Give me, throw me a bone. Mary Bailey, um, a scarlet letter. Um, but I wanted to show you real quick before I get too much further distracted. But I, you know, like I just said, Mary Bailey is a family name. I found this mary ann bailey i'm gonna stitch this one day this is a busy i think that that's a lot of red maybe not yeah i always think oh that's a quick weekend stitch and you know um six months later you're like <laughs> i'm not very good at uh managing my my expectations of um how long it's going to take to stitch something um and i found this one uh, the sampler this one's also mary bailey now i've got i think i've got her kid in it. yeah i do i've got the yeah i'm gonna do this one but i i, I don't want to start anything else big until um i finish some big mm, i don't know Famous last words, I know. I and and gonna I'm trying to pace myself. All right, Mary Bailey's. You need to set aside. And I, I didn't realize I I guess something made it to the bottom of the pile. And I Oh yeah. Okay, I'm almost done. Yes. This should have gone at the front when it something I finished, but I got this at um I got this kit. I got this kit. Um, what's the name of that place? It's in it's in Cleburne, Cleburne, Texas. It's worth a trip. I think she has a lot of needlepoint, but in the back, she has a closet of um, stuff that's on sale or marked down. And this kit was in there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, I want it. So this was kind of fun. And so my daughter-in-law is Hispanic and I tried to do, um, I tried, it was so funny. I tried so hard to rep, to represent her and it, and it came out looking like that Jurgen sunless tannish. I, I did not like the color. I, but someone sent me an Instagram post of, um, conversions to, you know, floss conversions that will maybe help, um, Anyway, she's finished, and it's so funny. My mom, I don't know, she's not really artsy crafty. I loved this border, and she's not really all into all this, and um, she doesn't get this whole Adam and Eve thing. I don't know. Um, and she, I showed her, look, it's Adam and Eve, and she was just like, hmm, mom, you're supposed to love everything I do. I'm your, I'm your kid. Okay, and this I just finished. I just finished this. I just finished. And boy, that 2023 is very light. But I don't think I'm going to take it out. I'm going to leave it. It's fine. It's done. I want to get her frame. I found the frame for it. I'm going to take her this coming weekend, hopefully. 
let me get that framed. Um, I feel like there was some other stuff I want to show you, but I, I don't want to go too far. I did want to show you, like I, I quilt, but, um, let me, let me just show you this real quick. So I, I have a fabric stash. I and everything, you know, you know, when I'm watching uh, floss tubes, everybody's cutting into their stash, making these gorgeous quilts. And I really need to do that. But I am so fixated on my scraps. And I have a really hard time partying with scraps. Now, I'm trying to do better because I'm 55. I don't need that inch and a half square. But do I? Maybe I do, but let me show you. I've been working on this for, I think, 10 years. It's 2023. So um, these are English paper piecing. These are half inch, half inch hexes. And what I do is I get a half inch punch and then I punch out my, my junk mail and I have little cardboard pieces. And you can buy it. It's very expensive, I feel. You'll get a great product, but I'm just cheap. Um, so what I do, I save all my, I, I guess an inch and a half inch square, inch and a half square. That's the smallest I'll go. But okay, so also too, um, I kind of just try to do a color family. You know, it, they all don't match, but they're just scraps. And so, um, let me go through these quickly. But I love scraps too, because you can look through it and you're like, oh, I remember that. I remember that quilt. Or sometimes friends will give me their scraps and I'll be like, oh, there's my friend. Um, and that, that's my son's shirt right there. Yep. Um, and you know, like I, I love this. I, I You know, I wanna buckle down maybe this winter and work on this because okay the other funny thing that I think about quilting is when you're hand piecing or you know even machine piecing is you'll get really excited about about a project and you're like oh I'm gonna make a queen and you get tired and you're like I'm gonna make a twin oh, I'm gonna make a a throw or oh I'm just gonna make a table runner maybe I'm at that point because I, I think I haven't, I don't have, I think I might have enough for a baby quilt, but um, I just, I think if I want to make a queen, we're going to be at this a while. Let me just run through these real quick. I don't know, I hadn't seen them in a while, so it's kind of sweet to see them. But yeah, you can see, I just used scraps and I just went with the little color. Um, and the other thing too, that reason, another reason why I love this is uh, my stepdad, and he was on hospice and I was sitting there with him. I was working on this over the spring and summer. And, and you know, like when your parent is just proud of you and it just makes you feel good. Like every time a nurse would come over, he'd be like, daddy, daddy would be like, show him, show him what you're doing. So he would make me spread it out on the floor and um, show them you know lay it all out show them what you're doing and so now i even have i have a sweet memory of daddy loving these i mean i don't really have a plan other than yeah that red goes with that green let's just do it I, you know but um it's all scraps and my other rule that i had was i wasn't gonna let myself cut into any fabric it had to be a scrap i'm not gonna cut into a fat quarter for one last piece of purple which is funny because i don't really sew a lot with purple I don't know how many, why these blocks have so many purple. Um, anyway. All right, you've seen enough, I guess. So, okay, here, let me finish here. So what I was gonna do, my it, my vision the whole time was to do black, black polka dot. And you buy the black polka dot fabric and you're laying this out and I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. So, I got some white probably from fat quarter shop let me see what it is um riley blake designs swiss dots anyway so that's where i'm at with that project and i i might push through this winter because i like i said i'm 55 you know 
my daughter came in one day. She's so cute. And uh, she looks around the sewing room and she's like, Mom, um, you better finish all this up because I am not carrying on your legacy. And um, she was being funny. It was a joke. Uh, she can knit, but she's not like a quilt. She she did a quilt many years ago and won a first blue ribbon at a, a fair in Florida. But anyway, she can sew. She, she probably likes more garments and knitting. But anyway, it just made me laugh. I always laugh at her. Um, I am not carrying on your legacy. Um, the other thing that I have... Um, Oh, and now I can't remember the name of it. It's Goose something, and it's a Bonnie Hunter design. This is another thing that I've been paper piecing these little scraps. It's Goose something. Like Wild Goose Chase, I don't know. But I need like 50,000 of these. So I've been using up my scraps. I don't know. I, I really enjoy paper piecing, like the accuracy you get. Um, but it's, I just, I struggle with that wasting of thread and I'm too cheap to buy that machine that will thread it for me what do you call those self threading and this is funny too I don't like orange right well here I am um this is more of a melon looks it's more cantaloupe -y. but I've been working on these and oh my goodness I don't want that to be another 10 year project I really want to um work on that and I've been making these log cabins I just sit at the sewing machine if I've got like 30 minutes or an hour I'll sit in them there's like 45 pieces in each one of these like who does that it's a lot of work um but it makes me happy and I enjoy it um and it'll be beautiful one day when it's all together um I know that I have haul but I mean, I'm at a minute. I don't have a whole lot of haul. I have, I bought some, I, I did go to Tinsmith's Wife last week. I got some fabric. You know, um, she has a pretty good fabric stash. If you are looking for something, just give her a call. She will ship it to you. Um, I know she had some Lakeside in and I got, I got some pieces. I, and, and I'm trying to be careful because I really don't need a ton of, stuff but I mean if you find lakeside you need to buy it right but I just want to be careful with my budget and well anyway give um is it Wendy give her a call okay speaking of Wendy and Tinsmith's wife I want to say I you know um I want to say hi to calculated stitcher because she's from utopia and um, this is kind of what I was talking about how floss tube just connects the whole world um I grew up in Ingram, and Ingram and Utopia, we used to play against each other. And I remember um, playing, have, uh, going to a volleyball and probably a basketball game in Utopia, the gymnasium where uh, she teaches. And um, I was down in Lakey last summer, I think, and I was like, well, what if I just give her a call and go see her? And I thought, you know, that's kind of weird. You're being a creeper. But anyway, I want to say hi to, is it Jennifer Calculated Stitcher? Hey, from Ingram slash Dallas um okay so back to Tin Smith's wife she's a great uh fabric uh she pretty much has anything you need just give her a call and um I wanted to show you let's see I got this see here I am with my tiny pieces except when I bought this I didn't realize um oops I got this from heart spun quilts I really love her stuff. It's, she's a lot of primitive type. Well, I'm not going to open that. Okay, you get the idea. So, I was thinking, oh, that's nice. Those are like little nine patches. Sure, I can do that. Well, I get it. And the template is like two and a half inch square. Oh my goodness, we're going to be here a while. But I'm not unhappy. I love anything with little pieces. But um, I wanted to show you that. I've even been pulling out some scraps that are, um, come on. I'm going to have to work with that. Um, reproduction scraps to start. Um, but that's one thing that I got. Um, I wish I could remember the name of that. Um, is it? It's Fancy Stitches in Cleburne, Texas. 
um, it's kind of out of the way. That's okay. Uh, stitchers will go out of the way for each other and for stores, uh, for brick and mortar stores. But I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got. If it's not focusing, it just kind of seems cruel, but um, I know I got, oh, it's just maybe some older things that I still thought were cute and relevant. And I'm not really opposed to di stitching dated things either. I mean, it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. Uh, this wasn't, um, not dated, but anyway, it was probably half off or whatever. Um, I got this one. La -di -da. I I can I want to start. I want to stitch these heartstring samplery. Um, a gentle answer turns away wrath. Um, I love this. I love when the house is cut out like this and you can see the rooms. I have a bunch of charts from different designers with that look of the the cut out house. I got this one. I thought this one was unique. This is Shakespeare peddler. What would you call that? Is that like um not a temple? Okay, I can't think what you call that. Anyway, I got, I like that. Another heart string. They got the orange dot. They're probably half off, but yeah, go to Fancy Stitches in Cleveland, Texas and um especially if you like needlepoint. She has a lot of needlepoint there, but cross stitch too. Um, there's another cutout house. I love that. And this one I should start, whoopsie daisy, start soon. That one was turkeys. Turkeys? Yeah, turkeys. Um, la -dee -da. Oh, and this one I already kitted up. I went and I, I just pulled out some scrap. I'm going to do that. Dried gourds. Um, let's see, the work basket. I love work basket. I have a healthy stash of work basket. I just need time. I want to do all of these, but anyway, isn't that cute? Like a little envelope. Oh yeah, I'll do it. Um, carriage house. I, you know, I want to say hi to Jennifer, Bluegrass Stitcher. She is a big Kathy Barrick and, um, fan and carriage house. Anyway, I miss her. She's been having problems with her eyes, I think. And I miss you. And I love you. Um, anyway, I can't think, I can't see carriage house or Kathy without thinking of, um, Jennifer. Um, homespun, fatal age. It's so pretty. Midsummer night. Oh, I love them. They also don't age. They, that I really like that one. That one looked easy. Not it looked quick. And I need to be more into the quick stitches because I do so many big things. Um, here's another work basket. I think that's all. I I am. Um, oh, one other thing. So. I, I, I bought something on Impulse. Okay, so I was just on eBay and I, you know, was looking for samplers. Oh, I got something else to show you. Um, you know, I go on there looking for samplers and I found this old bedspread. It's like a Sears, Sears and Roba bedspread. Look at that. I don't, I'm sure I won't cover a bed with it. But what I was thinking I would do is like make project bags or something. Isn't that cute? I didn't pay 10 for it. I mean, it wasn't maybe 30. I don't know. But 30 for a king size, that's a lot of fabric. So yeah, I've never made a project bag, you know. But I mean, I can sew. I'm just lazy. I'm lazy when it comes to zippers. I, I think I'm happiest with stitching or piecing. But yeah, there's some good tutorials out there. I will figure it out. And okay, so there's one other thing that I want to show you. I meant to show you that at the very beginning. I'm glad I... Um, <clears throat> anyway, Becca, I want to say hi to Becca. She is my um, 
antique sampler buddy and um now i've slowed way down i you know i'm 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 tight with my money i well no that's a lie i need to be um but anyway i just love bonding with becca over samplers and um and we were talking the other day about how friendships like so you find an old sampler and you know, you think about that little girl who's stitching it a hundred years ago and you know, she's, she never knew that what she was doing with her hands at that moment in time was going to bring two people together a hundred years later. You know, I just, it's just funny to me. I think about it a lot, how fabric and thread and just there's a, just a relationship there. Um, okay. So anyway, she'll, um, I'll message her our eBay listing. And I'll be like, what do you think of this one? And, or she'll message me and I'm like, oh, I like it. Get it. And, um, you know, if you're not going to get it, I'm going to get it. Um, but like I said, I slowed way down, but, um, but let's say I don't. Yeah. Anyway. So I, here's my old antique sampler. Hang on. Oh, there's my front yard. There's my kitty. Yeah. Come kitty, kitty, kitty. I don't know. Can you see this? I really like it. I like it because it's beautiful and different. And these have rice stitches in them. I wish you could see. I think I don't, there's this uh, fancy stitch here too. I can't remember. But anyway, it was just different and I loved it. A prayer. So what do you think? Oh. Yeah. Kitty, 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 kitty. Okay. So over here I'm at a minute it's sixteen. I well, once you calm down, this isn't so bad. Anyway, thank you for everything. I am I really thought about a lot of people that I wanted to mention because I, I really, um, but you know, once you start listing people, you're going to leave people out. Um, so I thought maybe I would maybe get in the habit of mentioning someone, um, each time that does it get a, a heavy amount of traffic. I feel like she has a really strong floss tube. She's been around a while and I think she's lovely and I love her stuff. Um, Kathleen's Trodden Trails. She's another eclectic stitcher. Like she stitches a little bit of everything. Like you don't know what you're gonna get when you when she films the floss tube. And I think the last time she shared like she was thinking about maybe slowing down or retiring floss tube or something. So I'm glad that she didn't. I think she just posted something new. And I think the Wondering Stitcher just posted today. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stop there because I there's probably like 30 people I want to mention and I'll feel like a schmuck when you leave people out. Um, I guess that's it. So thank you so much. And I hope you'll follow and be my friend. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I'm sweet woodruffs on there. I thought about rechanging my name to something stitchy and I thought, you know what? No, I've been sweet woodruffs for 20 years. I'm not, I'm not changing. And, um, so you'll just have to find me, Sweet Woodruffs, and, um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you, but questions, yeah, I'll do my best. If I forgot something or left it out, I, I'll try to answer, uh, names of fabric. I'm terrible about writing that down, so you're probably going to be on your own on that one. Um, but just stay in touch with me, and I... I just pray that you'll uh, be blessed and be a blessing to others. And thank you so much for all your kindness to me. And um, take care. Bye-bye.